What's the first thing that comes to your mind when you think about Germany? <laughs> Let me guess, it's probably gonna be sausages, football and, of course, lots and lots of beer. Deutschland. Well, I guess there's a bit of truth in every stereotype. But there's actually one more thing that a lot of people associate with Germany. Unsere Wirtschaft zu umsteuern müssen, dass weniger CO2-Emissionen anfallen. Germany is often seen as a leader in the fight against climate change. But do we actually live up to our image? Guess what? Not really. And I'm going to tell you why. And you don't have to take just my word for it. Well, historically, Germany's been quite a leader on climate change. This is Bill Hare, a top climate scientist. We have started in the 80s of the last century with uh, green politics, with recycling systems, with energy efficiency programs. And this is Claudia Kempfert. She's one of Germany's leading environmental economists. So by the sounds of it, we should be absolute superstars on all things green. And indeed, we want to go pretty much carbon free by 2050. But climate targets are kind of like New Year's resolutions. Just because you say you're going to work out more, doesn't mean you're actually going to do it. Right now we're in fairly good shape. But that's only because the coronavirus pandemic has pushed down emissions. Once things go back to normal, we're going to be off track again. Germany is at risk of falling behind a bit. Everyone thinks we are super green, but actually we're keeping two pretty dirty secrets over here. And something tells me you're going to guess what the first one is. What can I say? We're in love with cars. And we always have been. But most of them still run on diesel or gasoline, and that means they pump out lots and lots of greenhouse gases. It's hard to believe, but transportation sector emissions in Germany are the same today as they were in 1990. It's just a policy failure uh, of the last 20 years, uh, which is which we see here right uh, right now, especially on the transportation sector. Germany is a car country. Uh, we are producing a lot of cars. We have a very strong car lobby. And that car lobby has always been close buddies with the most powerful politicians. Abandoning combustion engines and going electric, that's costly and risky, but it needs to happen if we are to lower emissions. Other countries have already set specific dates for when they want to phase out internal combustion engines completely. France is at least aiming to have them banned by 2040, the UK by 2035, and Norway already by 2025. And what about Germany? A concrete ban um, is, is not, will not happen and is not happening in Germany because of, because of the car lobby. To be fair though, we're not entirely stuck in the past. The government has plans to set up more charging stations and there are subsidies for people who buy electric cars. Things are changing just very slowly. It's true that some manufacturers such as VW are now investing really substantially in electrifying their their vehicle fleet that they're manufacturing. But the point is that that really needs to accelerate uh, a lot faster than uh, it has been. And what also needs to accelerate a lot faster is climate-friendly public transport. It's like a national pastime here to complain about trains being late, overcrowded and expensive. And that's because they often are. Can you believe Germany invested in building about 60 kilometers of brand new highways last year and just six kilometers of train tracks? So our car addiction is one big reason why we're lagging behind our climate ambitions. And then there's our second, even dirtier secret. There are still around 100 active coal power plants in Germany. They produce a third of the country's electricity, but compared to other energy sources, they are massive CO2 emitters. The good news is that we're shutting all of them down. The bad news, not until 2038. That's eight years later than experts say is needed to meet the Paris climate goals. Just have a guess when this plant started operating. Was it 10 years ago or maybe five years ago? Nope, it was in May 2020. It sends a very bad signal actually to the rest of the world. If the OECD countries are, uh, uh, need to phase out by around 2030 and Germany doesn't match that and we know that uh, big emitters in the south and in the developing world also need to phase out by around 2040. 
it's a very hard case to make um, if uh, one of the world's richest countries is not actually meeting the, the scientifically defined timetable to get coal out of the power market. Italy is planning to phase out coal by 2025 and France by 2022. Well, they rely on nuclear energy. And Sweden, with its relatively small population, is already coal-free. Why on earth is Germany lagging behind on this front? We have had a lot of mining in the western part of Germany since 1950 and uh, that relates to a very strong connection of the coal miners to the society, also to the cultural identity, but also uh, to the political uh, lobbying uh, framework. And that resulted still that we did not manage uh, to phase out coal um, earlier. So let's quickly recap. Germany is dangerously addicted to cars. And Germany just can't shake its habit of burning tons and tons of coal. So where does that leave us? Germany is not that climate friendly as the whole world might think. We have to do much more related to this. A uh, phase out by around 2030 for thermal coal um, would help accelerate renewable energy development in Germany and in the, in the transport area. We have to do a, a transportation a transition in the broader sense, getting um, also the railway system much more attractive, much more cheaper and uh, less cars, uh, more climate friendly cars. And uh, that is also electric cars, which we need on the streets. There's a lot to do, but hey, we've got an image to lose. We want to hear from you. Has this changed your image of Germany? And is your country doing enough to fight climate change? Let us know in the comments and hit subscribe for more videos like this every Friday.